Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to tell you about backup options for Viber and WhatsApp on Android, iOS and Windows devices. Many chats have certain value for their users. That's why application developers provided the opportunity to create a backup copy of Viber and WhatsApp chats. Keep on watching to see how to create and configure backup. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. In Viber, messages are not saved or restored automatically. But if necessary, you can create a backup and then restore it on another device. If you want to save a copy of all messages on another device, you can save it to a file. However, such backup copy has certain limitations. A chat backup copy can be created and read as text, but it cannot be restored in the application itself. Copies of sent files, photos, videos, etc. are not saved to such text files. Yet, let's talk about backup with the recovery options first. In this case, you can only save the messages available on, the, on your device at the time when you are creating the backup. When a new backup is created, all the old ones will be removed. Such backup takes some time and internet traffic, so it's recommended to use a Wi-Fi connection. As a result, you'll be able to restore only text messages and list of subscriptions, while all photos and videos have to be copied from the memory of your device. To create a backup in Viber, tap on More, the button with three horizontal lines, then go to Settings, Account, Viber Backup, and then Backup. Now you'll have to wait until Viber backs up your data and this process can take some time. Before creating a Viber backup, make sure Viber has free access to your Google Drive from this device. If there is no such connection, click on the link under the message about Google Drive and select the account to which the data will be saved. In Backup settings, you can decide how often chat history is saved automatically. You can also save a chat backup as a file that could be emailed as a text document. But as I said before, you can't use such backup to restore a Viber chat history, and photos or videos from your chats will not be saved either. For sending, go to Settings, open Calls and Messages, and choose Email message history. Then choose where to send it, and then, depending on your choice, specify the address or the name of the document if you are saving it to Google Drive. Then click Save. As a result, the file will be sent to the specified email address or saved to the Google Drive with the name you have given to it. With an iPhone, the backup process is the same, the only exception being that you will use iCloud instead of Google Drive. In the same backup settings, choose Backup Now and wait until Viber copies its data to iCloud storage. For automatic backup, choose Auto Backup and decide how often it takes place. Before creating a backup, check your connection to iCloud. To do it, open iPhone settings, select iCloud, sign in, choose iCloud Drive and enable it, then find Viber in the list of apps and enable access. You can watch one of our videos to learn more about restoring Viber chats from a backup. Find the link in the description. Restoring chats can take some time and eat up considerable amounts of internet traffic. That's why it's better to use a Wi-Fi connection. When restoring chats, you can't restore chat history in secret chats, as well as sent and received photos and videos, chat settings and messages sent to additional devices which are also connected to your account. If you are using Viber on a desktop computer and wondering how its chats could be backed up, I'll show it in a moment. And if you're not using Viber for PC yet and would like to know how to install it, you can watch a video on our channel, and you can find the link below this video as usual. In case with a computer, you can only create a text copy of the chat or replace the file containing chat history. 
All chat history is kept in the file viper.db in this folder on disk C. C – Users, Username, App Data, Roaming, Viber PC, Phone Number. That's why to restore Viber chat history you need to restore that file. If you reinstalled the operating system on your computer and need to restore chat history or media files, use Hetman Partition Recovery. Visit our channel to watch a video on restoring Viber data. After that, you'll have to find the file following the given path and restore it, then replace it. If you need to restore media data, here is the path to where it's stored. See Users, Username, Documents, Viber Downloads. With this program, you can scan and recover them from that folder. In WhatsApp, backup is automatic and you don't have to change any settings. However, it means that backups are saved to the phone's internal memory and any copies older than 7 days will be erased. Such backups are stored here. WhatsApp – Databases. You can watch one of our videos to learn more about restoring data from such backups. Find the link in the description. But if you want to save data to Google Drive, you'll have to go to Settings. Go to Settings – Chat – Chat Backup. Choose the Google Drive account, how often backups should be created, how they will be uploaded to the server with Wi-Fi or with any other available network, check the box if you want to add videos to your backup. The first complete backup can take some time. Every time you create a backup in the same Google Drive account, the previous backup will be replaced. You won't be able to restore any previous backups from Google Drive. Backing up WhatsApp messages on Apple devices is the same as on Android, but using cloud backup options requires you to be signed in to iCloud with Apple ID. In the settings, you can select backup frequency, account, and so on. To use iCloud for backup, you should meet certain requirements like having iOS 7 or newer version and for iOS 8 and higher versions, iCloud Drive should be enabled. You can check it by going to iPhone settings, tapping on your name, then iCloud to see if it's enabled. Before creating a backup, make sure you have enough free space on your iCloud and iPhone. If you are worried about using mobile internet connection, you can configure iCloud so that backups are only created when working with Wi-Fi networks. To disable iCloud using mobile internet connection for iOS 8 and higher versions, go to iPhone Settings, Cellular Data, and disable iCloud Drive. To restore chat history from a backup in iCloud, check if the chat backup really exists by going to WhatsApp Settings Chats Chat Backup. If you see the date of the last backup, remove and install again the WhatsApp application from App Store. After you check the phone number, follow the wizard directions to restore your chat history. As well as in Weber, with WhatsApp you have the option of emailing chat history. To do it, use the app to open the chat you need to send by email, tap to export it, choose if you want any extra files, specify the email address and tap more for extra options. In Windows 10 Mobile, backing up WhatsApp is done in exactly the same way. The only exception is that when saving chat copies to the phone's memory, you will find the backup in the path WhatsApp – Win Phone Backup. That is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!